phase two of our A-frame home build means finally adding on the bedroom wing to the house. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited about this project. I just can't wait for finished product. And uh, yeah, it's huge. I'm loving it. But it's not just a bedroom wing. It also includes Josh's dream safe room. I have a small safe. Now I have a massive safe. A massive <laughs> safe. <laughs> We've just cracked the book to a new, more challenging build. And with this concrete pour, it's not the rain that we're needing to work around. It's the birth of new life on our farm. The perfect day for lambing. And concrete. <laughs> Two girls. <laughs> oh! Tomorrow's concrete day, so today I'm gonna to spend time buttoning everything up. I got vertical bracing going around the entire foundation wall, and I got a space every two feet. Aaron and I have a lot of work to get accomplished today, so we're gonna pretty much divide and conquer. I'm gonna start by getting kickers around the entire foundation wall, and Aaron has some work at the barn to do. You got that? We've had a really mild February this year, but this weekend we're gonna be dropping into the 20s and our mama ewes are getting within the one week range of lambing here. So while I'm not expecting to have lambs <laughs> during the cold temperatures of this weekend, I do wanna be prepared because if I'm not prepared, then they will have lambs. That's just the way that it works. So work this to the outside of the barn. So we got a nice clear entryway. <laughs> Bad. So we got to brace that corner, that corner, same with those two corners, brace those also. That wall is good, that wall is good. This wall is decent. This one needs a little bit of work, definitely does. Over the gate, okay? Yep. This one. That's good. If we slide this in through here, then they both can have. Yeah, we'll just tie some wire right there and they'll both have some arrows. Yeah. yeah, it's good. All right. The safe room walls right here are going to be 12 inches thick and they're going to go up in concrete. The entire ceiling of the safe room is also going to be concrete. I'm not going to lie, I'm very excited about this project. I just can't wait for finished product. And uh, yeah, it's huge. I'm loving it. I would not be an electrician's wife if I didn't use wire to attach absolutely everything. How many lambs do you think we're gonna have this year? Three. Three? Yeah. No way. I think one though. No way, we're gonna have way more lambs than that. Maybe eight? Probably somewhere around eight. That's yeah. a good guess. <laughs> You're gonna have your hands full. Get ready. Yeah, I cannot wait. So we're good. All we need to do is put some uh, rods through here and just connect everything with the rods and maybe put a couple kickers on that backside and we're done. I got three rod washers and nuts. So the plan is to cut the rod at 16 inches, drill through both sides of the form, slide the rod through there, nut and washer on both sides. And that way when they pour concrete, the rod going between the two forms holds it together so the concrete doesn't expand and pull everything apart so we can keep the nice even 12 inches the entire way through. Thank you. 
So we're all buttoned up, ready for concrete. I have one thing I gotta do tomorrow. I need to cut down the inside of the form all to the same elevation, because right now, some of the uh, plywood is butted up and it could be like a 3 8 difference, half inch difference of height in between the plywood as it goes around. Um, that's what that's the photo report isn't exactly perfect, so it's a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is take a laser and mark the entire thing and cut it all down. And we're probably gonna do that tomorrow morning because uh, it's gonna be dark outside. Uh, we'll get them when the sun, sun starts coming out, just enough that I can see. I can put that laser up and I can see the laser going right around the entire area and I can cut it all down. But we're ready for concrete. So we came out here early this morning to get the laser set up. We did that on purpose so we can go through here and mark just a line. It's going to be a lot easier than holding that stick up with the uh, reader on there and then trying to mark it. So we just set it up and mark the lines. Now we're ready to start cutting everything down to the uh, proper height. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Lambs born on concrete day. It <laughs> doesn't get much better than that. Can you go see them, Mommy? Of course. They look so cute. <laughs> I'm so happy. I hope they're both girls. Oh, me too. Tell I that story when we first met. Help me remember that. It's okay, Mama. Yes, we'll Look at those little tiny things. Oh my gosh. She's so sweet. Pick her up so we can see if it's a boy or a girl. She's so pretty. And it's a... What does that mean? Two girls. <gasps> oh! oh my goodness. Good job, Mama. So this mama here had two adorable little ewe lambs. She cleaned them off beautifully and they're nursing very well. They're already up walking all around. You can see this little one right there is nursing. <laughs> it's great. It's uh, the perfect day for lambing and, and concrete. <laughs> You'll see what this one's doing right here. You are doing a good job helping mama take care of that baby lamb. Yeah. She looks like she likes those head scratches. Yeah. <laughs> they're so healthy. They are healthy girls. And they will turn out to be a very nice little family. <laughs> she birthed beautiful babies. Yes, she did. And she's so brave. This is so exciting, Mommy. I want to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, Policy Genius. From day one, our entire goal out here has revolved around creating a better future for our family. Everything from building our own home to developing our small farm and also preparing for scary what ifs. We do a lot of risky stuff out here and accidents can happen. And that's why we chose early on to get life insurance. It's another step towards security for our family. And if you have a family, you know how much your loved ones depend on you. And in a worst case scenario, you wouldn't want them to have to worry about money. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need at the right price. They give you a smarter way to find and buy the right coverage for you and your family. Policy Genius was built to modernize the life insurance industry. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from top companies like AIG and Prudential in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $39 per month for $2 million of coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little 
little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Their licensed agents are not incentivized to recommend one insurer over another so you can trust their guidance and there's no added fees plus your personal information is kept private. It's no wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Your loved ones deserve a financial security net and you deserve a better way to find it and buy it. Head to policygenius.com WWOG or click the link in our description to get free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. Now let's get back to the build. We got 12 yards of concrete. The pump operator is going to operate the hose. The, I mean, I'm going to see the chops. Just move some things out. Should go fairly easy, unless we have a blowout. Then we have some problems. But I don't anticipate anything. So like I said, it should be an easy, easy day. So what you're saying is all the hard work is done. The hard work is done, yes. For this part. For this part. <laughs> exciting everybody's here everybody's like busying around getting set up we're about to start pouring and it's just a total mixture of both excitement and a little bit of nerves because you just never know how it's gonna go come on, yeah. Yeah. gotta come in here for safe keeping buddy yeah I'm putting Leon into his holding pen just honestly for the safety of the concrete guys and the guy that is operating the pump truck. Leon is a very, very sweet boy, but he is also a ram and we've got to respect his nature. Right, Lee? plywood like this, I think we're smart to go just a little bit thicker. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's just a blowout. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And if there is a blowout, a lot of times you can catch it before. Yep. Uneventful, which is probably it's a good thing. Very slow, very boring. <laughs> wait, wait, watch, watch them blow out there. Hold on, look. Totally uneventful. <laughs> nothing, nothing big's happening. We're just pouring concrete, and it probably is because we put the, the rods in between the forms. We put dirt at the bottoms. We also tap comb to the concrete, and everything's stout as can be. We're pouring slow. It's it's, it's uh, not too runny of concrete. It's uh, it's right consistency, and. Uh, I think if we do the forms the entire way around, the same way we did these forms, we'll have no issues. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really, it's really working out. It's really awesome. So we're on the truck number two. We got six yards in one truck, six yards in the other truck. So we should be on about a half hour. Going good. So once it gets done, more some more concrete, baby. We got we got a house to build. Time to schedule another concrete day. Yes. <laughs> if all our concrete days were as beautiful as this concrete day, can't beat this. It's 60 degrees out here. It's February in West Virginia. And we're doing concrete. You know. It's amazing. You can't beat it. You really can't. Gosh, I think you hear cracking. Where? on this wall. Yeah, pulling apart. We all started hearing a little bit of cracking and creaking going on with the forms. 
which obviously isn't a good sign. So Josh is gonna take a look at it and see what we need to do. All right, we got this thing started moving on us, that's all. It started cracking. It started, it started coming up a little bit, so. I'm gonna add some extra kickers and rod, and it should hold. All right, give me some nuts. Let's uh, at least go to that side. You wanna go, yep. Let this set up a little bit. We can do that. So the new plan is to relocate the pump. We're gonna let this concrete set up and solidify. It's gonna get hard. So we're gonna go on that side and pump around. By the time we get back to here, what little part was bulging out, the concrete already hardened up. It's gonna go around top and we'll have no more bulge. Is that a grape? Yes. That right there is Ellie's contribution. <laughs> but it's okay. You can't throw grapes in there. <laughs> grapes don't belong in footer wall. You know what I mean? All held together. I have a little bulge, but no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, Time to start forming up some more walls. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So, it's good news, you know? It's always a good feeling when concrete day's done, you know? Are you ready for your house to be finished? <laughs> it's a little bit early for that, isn't it? I think we got a little bit more forming up to do. We definitely do. <laughs> Of course we can go see the lambs again. Daddy hasn't seen them yet. Not today. What are we going to name them? Lammy. Lammy? I want to run, don't matter how far. I follow the light of the moon and the stars. Break away from these city walls. Oh, I want to run, it don't matter how far. Open your eyes, the time has come <laughs> To let in the light of the morning sun Ride on the wind till the day is done oh, Open your eyes, the time has right, come Alright, buddy, it's time to get out. Yep. Let's go, big me, your sister boy. Your crew is right over there. We did a good job today.